Our last episode got 4,000 views Is in a week. It? In one week? In one week. Oh my God. And the fans are rabid <laughs> right now. I think the shutter plank uh, uh, tag brought a lot of people. Yeah. Shutter plank. The whiskey plank. The yard is full, huh? I don't think I've ever seen them this big. I, I, <laughs> it's like they packed the boats in. day here in Ventura but looks like the thing is pretty much completely prepped what, what we got going on here is a, is a all grip uh, high build primer epoxy primer so what we're doing now is uh, putting on multiple coats to to uh, fill any waves and uh, an unfairness on the boat Let's see, it is October 20 something, 5th? 6th. October 26th. We thought we were going to see the water in October. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, doesn't, look like it. doesn't look like it. But uh, some little jobs. We'll show you the boat in a minute. I have a couple things off the boat. I sanded this out, the base for the stairs. Okay, that yeah. That thing was beat up. Oh, man. So I got it all the way around and we'll get some smiths on the bottom. Gotcha. And. That should be good, you know? I mean, just beefed up. Yeah, and then the rest of this will be the satin varnish, and it looks really nice down there, those handrails. Oh, so and with better. the new handrails? It looks a lot better. Oh, nice, great. So, yeah, I got all that, that cap across the beams, all varnished all up. All varnished, beautiful. It's probably gonna take another coat or two, right. depending. So, little things like this. The dividers out. The dividers yeah. on the engine hatch. Right. And I think this is for the EPIRB. I think you're right. It's not that one, another one. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. what that was for, so. Yeah. But I gotta dig these plugs out. <laughs> they plugged it and... Oh. No worries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as you say, it's all about now little projects. So it's all prepped. Let's go up and take a look at the deck. Yeah. All right, so this is all prepped now. Yeah. She's all prepped. Our last episode got 4,000 views in a week. In one week? In one week. Oh my God. They're the fans are rabid <laughs> right now. I think the shutter plank uh, uh, tag brought a lot of people. Yeah. Shutter plank. The whiskey plank. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they got this all sanded and prepped. I mean, this is what it is. You can see a couple waves and stuff in there, but yeah. that's... You know, here's our new, they, our that new wasn't, plank. That wasn't them doing that? No, no, that's old. Because here's our new plank. See this line right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. That top shear plank we put in they, right So here. they cut this new little... Or no, you, no, no, this you, is the same. I did the best I could on that. Yeah. I don't remember if it swept back. Oh, so okay. I just made them both the same. <laughs> okay, gotcha. And once it's built up with the paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they got this all ready to go. I should mic you up. Watch your step. It's a little... A little sketchy. They got this all scratched up. They scratched all the cement this morning. Put some tooth in there for the paint. That was nice. You did a good job on that. That's what puts wow. that. getting this transition right here. <laughs> that, that's pretty perfect, huh? Yeah. Well, that's what he said. He wanted it to be perfect. So he got this, I mean, look at that. He did a real nice job on that. He got a little bit of build up here, but that's what this, this coat of primer is gonna build it. Good. All right, guys. 
It's a cloudy day here in Ventura, but it looks like the no thing moisture. is pretty much completely prepped. There's a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, a lot of gaps. All scratched up and ready for the, the primer. for the primer. And uh, this area here has all been built up over the last week or so. A couple, of, they've come over and laid how many coats of paint there? Probably four or five. At four least. or five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We got a little bit right here, but this right here, I think they'll. Oh, what, what, what's what's going on with That's, that? That was just a low spot in the hall. Because our new plank, remember, our new plank is like right. In here, and this was all chingered up. And remember this starboard side? Yeah. The skin was crushed, and I think this is where the damage was. So it's been filled and cached. We refastened all that, all these new fasteners up in here. Right. Tying it back together. So. Can't get inside to show Clint's work, but I hear we're going to get some paint on her today. So we're here. That's what we're here for. This place is packed. Rarely seen it this busy. I right, they got some good looking good looking boats here. The guys that own the their guys did it. The yard didn't do it. Oh their own guy they brought in their own crew? Yeah. You can see, look how, you can see all the, all the planking. Yeah, that's all traditional, all the water line. Awesome. Beautiful lines though, if you stand back and look at the clothes. Oh no, she's gorgeous. What kind of boat it is, but... It looks like just some sport fishing boat. Oh man, it looks like this thing must have been on the beach. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. It rolled around a bit, I think. Yeah, I rolled around a little bit. Oh, that's an insurance job. That's a throwaway, isn't it's it? a complete throwaway. That's a throwaway, right? I don't think you'd salvage anything. Maybe that porthole over there. Maybe, <laughs> maybe some gear inside. <laughs> the shaft. Clint really likes his, what's it called, a Radin? Radin, yeah. Radin. Good island boat around here, dive, commercial dive boats. That's what they were made for, but a lot of guys use them for fishing and surfing. Right. <clears throat> surfing nice and surfing. wide, looks oh, like. Oh, yeah. I think this thing's got, a, this might have a 10-foot beam on it. Wow. It's a 32, it looks like. 32 rad on. Yep. What's it got on the inside? What do you, it's an what, a bait tank. What's the, what do you think something like this is used for? These guys use it for uh, fishing and surfing. Fishing and surfing. There's waves out the island. Go, guys go out there and surf. Wow. But these guys, they, they fish it a lot. You see all the rod racks on there. Yeah. They got a bait tank. Went to lunch and they finished painting the boat. <laughs> they got a coat on it already. Say, what was he saying about uh, putting on a bunch of coats? They're gonna apply multiple coats today with the sprayer, and they've already, it looks like they've already got at least one coat on there. We just came on them when they were spraying, so. They're right. mixing up another batch right now, and they're gonna spray it on, keep building it up. While he's uh, gone, let's go take a look. Thank you. 
head painter here at uh, Ventura Harbor Boatyards, and they're just starting to put this paint down. What can you tell us about this all right, process? So what, what, what we got going on here is a, is a all grip uh, high build primer, epoxy primer. So what we're doing now is uh, putting on multiple coats to to uh, fill any waves and uh, and unfairness on the boat. So here we are, the second coat. Today's application, we'll get three coats of the high build primer. Uh, tomorrow, we'll get uh, three coats of 545 final prime on top of that, and then block sand it out, and then possibly some spot priming after that, wherever those spots we find. And the reason, the reason why we're using a bunch of primer to build up the spots is because we're trying to avoid any fairing fillers on the side of the hull. It being a wooden hull for it splitting and cracking and chipping off later in the long run. Okay. So you're going to put six coats of just the primer? Just primer. That's six a, coats of primer. And then I, does, is that primer end up being the final coat? Or do we, you uh, then we put will, a, a we will, glossy coat over there? We will, we will put a, uh, after tomorrow's shoot of the 545 final prime, we will then block sand the whole hall side to and guide coat it to identify our low spots. Once we find our low spots, we will spot prime where needed and build it up if it's low, and then we'll be ready for top coat. Wow. Because this is, this, they, they say we're going to get some swelling over the first six months and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then they'll want to come back and like do a final, final sanding and, sure. so, or do you, but you don't, maybe you don't think that might not be necessary? Is this well, after seven or eight coats? We're not, we, we will, we will, with the, again, with the six coats and then with some spot priming then at that point, you know, there's got to be a point where we're going to say, hey, that's it. Let's see what happens in the six months after the swelling and whatnot. So at some point in time, there's got to be a stopping point at some point. <laughs> but for now, from what we noticed, what we have blocked out, oh, okay. we have noticed some low spots and that's what we're focusing on now. So now basically is what we're doing is we're sealing up the hall side right now with the high build. And then we put the final prime on top of the high build because the final prime cuts a lot easier than the high build primer which okay. just allows us to spot through it a little better. And when we do spot prime, we will spot prime with the final prime also. So you, as you, when you, what are you, what are you looking for? You're looking for those little imperfections and showing him where he needs to add more paint? Yes, I'm just, I'm just watching his overlap on a 50, 50% 50 overlap. So when he comes around that way, everything's even on the side of the hall. We have even coats. Okay. So we know everything's even. So when we block through it, Say we burn through the primer as we're blocking through, we know we got a low spot or a high spot. That's how we identify it. And then the bottom paint, what what, is it, what do we achieve there? I hear only one or two coats there. You... We uh, typically, our, our protocol for our bottom paints are three coats around the waterline, two overall on the bottom. Okay. So what we do is we'll burn a coat of, around the waterline, for starters, after the bottom is prepped put a coat around the water line. After we put a coat around the water line on that same day, we'll go from the tape line, from the water line down to the keel. So that'll give you two and one. The following day, tape line, bottom of the keel, give you three and two. Wow. And that's a complete bottom. Bro. And that's the complete bottom. So would you imagine that would be done in the next week? All of that work or? Uh, five, in the six, next week, we'll be blocking by Monday. We'll let it sit, tomorrow we'll shoot. Also depending on weather. Um, yeah. When we start blocking Monday, we may be blocking, I want to say, at least till Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. Barring and then, any rain. Yeah, Barring without any rain. Any rain. Right. With, with good weather permitting. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to rain this weekend. Yes. Yes. And that, this will be fine? Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be plenty filled up. Great. It's it's pretty it, pretty is, pretty it is a, a two-part primer. It does have a, a converter to it to help it dry. It's not a, a single-shot primer. So. so in a few hours, it'll be basically dry? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Dry enough to withstand yeah. this. So tomorrow before we, we apply the final prime, we'll come over and we'll scratch it up. We'll hand, hand massage it for adhesion for the right. coat. And then we'll go ahead and get three more coats of the final prime on. Great. So okay. basically after today's shoot, you're looking at a total of mixed gallons, six mixed gallons on the whole side after today. So after today, you will put six gallons of paint six, on six total gallons on the hull. On the hull. Yeah. And and uh, do you guys think that way in terms of actual volume on a hull of this size, or do you just like I know you need six coats, whatever that thing? No, for the, for the simple fact that it was down bare to bare wood, yeah. we're sealing it up and to get the proper millage on it as well right. from the uh, specs from all grip. Okay, and, so yeah. in the future, when you're doing paint jobs, we won't take it down to the bare wood anymore. No, right? no, no, no. This is a one-time deal. Once we start off from bare wood, got it. For instance, once it's painted and then it comes back for some coatings, we'll scratch it up with something a lot finer and go ahead and, and coat it at that point. You won't need all that prime. No, work. no, no priming, no blocking. Unless, unless there's some damage and we had to repair it, then we'll block it out to get it right. But other than that, if it's coming in just for a paint job, we'll scratch it up and paint it. 
All right. Awesome information. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you.